question 7 this question is from converting the curve into linear form here a curve has been converted to a straight line by changing the y-axis into log y-axis and by changing x-axis into log x-axis and then that straight line passes through the point 412 and the other point 617 so in the first part of the question we need to f express y in terms of x and should and it should be in the form of y equals to a times x to the power b now let's try to find the equation of the line first in order to find the equation of the line we need to know the gradient of the line so at first let's try to find the gradient of the line we know that the gradient is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so let's use these two coordinates we can write m equals to 17 minus 12 divided by 6 minus 4 which is 5 over 2 so the gradient of the line is 5 over 2 now let's use the coordinate 4 12 and the gradient 5 over 2 we can write equation of the line uh, using the formula using the formula y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 here it will be log y and log x so we could we can write log y minus 12 equals to 5 over 2 times log x minus 4 so now let's write in the next line log y equals to 5 over 2 times log x minus 10 plus 12 so let's scroll down a bit here let's continue we can write log y equals to log x to the power 5 over 2 why could i write this uh, because the coefficient of log term can become the power of the argument of the log so then plus 2 okay so 2 could be multiplied by log 10 because log 10 base 10 is 1 so in the next line we could write log y equals to log x to the power 5 over 2 plus log 10 squared again the coefficient become the power so what was that rule let's write the rule here n times log x where n is the coefficient of the log x becomes the power of the argument that is log x to the power n so let's continue we can write log y equals to uh, log x to the power 5 over 2 times 10 squared we use the addition rule of logarithm here so in the next line we can write uh, log y let's write log y equals to log 100 times x to the power 5 over 2 now eliminating log from the both side of the equation we can write we can write y equals to 100 times x to the power 5 over 2 so we have expressed y in the form of a times x to the power b so our a is 100 and b is 5 over 2 so this is the solution for the first part of this question now uh, let's move on to the next part of this question uh, here we have to find the value of x when y equals to 300 so using the using the value y equals to 300 uh, we can write 300 equals to 100 times x to the power 5 over 2 so 300 divided by 100 gives us 3 so we can write x to the power 5 over 2 is equals to 3 which can be written as x equals to 3 to the power 2 over 5 using the calculator we can get the value x equals to 1.5518455 using 3 significant value we can write x equals to 1.55 so 
so this is the answer for this second part of this question so question 7 is done now let's move on to the next question